Let's take a tour and see trial of this beautiful 2003 Sailfish 236 Center Council for sale in Palm Beach County, Florida. If you're in the market for a serious offshore deep V center council with 100% composite wood-free construction and quality four-stroke power, this is one you should seriously look at. The 236 is the largest in its class with a big beam of nine feet and a length overall of 23 feet six inches with the engine approximately 24 and a half feet. It has high gunnels, very safe for the friends and family with a great offshore fishing layout. This one comes with the tournament fishing package with the upgraded live wells, which we're gonna show you in detail. The sailfish is designed as you saw with those cushions in the front to be a family boat if you need it and also a serious offshore fishing boat with a deep V of 24 degree dead rise at the transom. And if you read the reviews on the 236, you'll see its legendary ride characteristics. Great efficient transom layout, transom boarding door. You have your three step dive ladder that's included with the boat. You have your raw water wash down hookup right on the transom, which we're gonna show you in detail. Sea Star hydraulic steering, beautiful bolsters that are brand new all the way around. All the cushion and vinyl on this boat are in amazing condition. And those front cushions are all the original cushions. It's amazing to find a 2003 boat and they are perfect. They are like new. Folks, for a 2003 model year boat, this boat shows in excellent condition. It is really nice. 55 PSI freshwater wash down right at the transom, right at the boarding door where you want it for cleaning off your raft and snorkel equipment. You can hook up your wash down hose to that. That's a 55 PSI raw water wash down. On the transom, a huge live well. And this one comes with the tournament package, which includes another live well behind the leaning post. And those both have blue LED lights in them so you can see them in the evening. Huge live well here with two fills. This is not normal on the 236. This one comes with the upgraded leaning post, the tournament fishing package, so it's real nice. And a bait prep station next to that with a raw water hose as well. So many nice upgrades. This one comes with all blue LED lighting that's brand new all around under the bolsters and the transom and the live wells. Really nice. This boat has been upgraded over the years and it shows. Beautiful leaning post and take a look at the helm layout that make any captain happy. This one has the Sea Star hydraulic steering with the upgraded tilt helm. Beautiful Edson style steering wheel. Your Yamaha binnacle controls, all your 12 volt switches and 12 volt accessory port. Nice little storage area. Your Yamaha digital gauges. This one has the optional water pressure gauge as well. Beautiful Lowrance setup here. You got dual GPS units and dual fish finder so you can set these up one for fish finding and one for gps or however you'd like to do it you can split screen them really nice two upgraded units there color very nice up in the electronics box everything is very clean and orderly with a very nice vhf system with a shakespeare antenna on the t-top and a brand new bluetooth stereo system that you could pair right to your phone with four marine six and a half inch speakers Brand new LED spreader lights, two in the rear on the T-top, very nice, as well as one facing forward. One nice feature on the 236 is the huge console storage. You don't have to shoehorn yourself in here. You got your three-step dive ladder. You have your porta potty for your friends and family when you're headed out in case there's any family emergencies. And to let you know, all the cushions will fit in here, so they don't have to stay out in the sun. Brand new LED light in there as well. Very nice. Just look at the cleanliness compared to other boats. You know, when you're sick of seeing rust, mold, mildew, and your wife and family don't even want to get in there, look at this boat. Look at the difference. Beautiful bunny pad up there. When you've got the friends and family on there, you bring out those cushions and everybody's happy. When you're going out fishing, stow them away in the console there so they stay pristine as they are. Backup anchor in the floor there, nice storage space. Take a look at the cleanliness of these huge insulated fish boxes. You can also use those as coolers if you got a bunch of beverages and you're headed to the sandbar with some sandwiches and cold beverages. Nice high safe gunnels on this boat. Great for the family or if you're offshore fishing. And huge anchor locker with an oversized anchor that fits right there. Plenty of chain and rope. 
beautiful condition. The gel coat, the stainless, none of the rust stains that you see, top of the line pop-up cleats, as well as a pop-up Acon navigation light. The gel coat, the cushions, everything is in terrific shape for an 03. Under the cowling, this boat was repowered in 2006 with a Mercury 225 four-stroke. With only 625 hours on this engine, just serviced, oil change, and gear oil, she's turnkey and ready to go. Idle is extremely smooth on this boat, no hesitation, no stalling, and with a four-stroke EFI engine, it literally starts like a car engine. You don't have to pump, prime, nothing like that. Just fire it up. The shifts are smooth and precise. Trim and tilt working on the binnacle control as well as on the engine. Lenko trim tabs, top of the line stuff in the marine industry, and Sea Star hydraulic steering, which is one-handed. Very easy to turn this boat. Let's get her out on the water and show you how well she performs, and we'll talk about the performance specifications of the 236 Sailfish with the 225 four-stroke. Here we are on a beautiful day in sunny South Florida, up on plane heading northbound, right at a nice efficient cruise speed of 27, 28 miles per hour. That's your max efficient cruise speed on this boat, and that's turning right at about 4,100 RPMs on the Mercury 225 four-stroke. Very smooth, very level ride at that speed. That's your max efficient speed when you're headed way offshore. With the large 150 gallon fuel tank, you'll have plenty of range with the 225 four-stroke. Nice clear Lexan windshield on this boat, knocks the wind down very nicely on those breezy days. Nice lines, nice ride attitude. The bow doesn't ride high on this boat. This is without using any of the Lenko trim tabs in this video. So you can get that bow down even more if you want in the chop. But if you read the reviews on the 236 from Sailfish, the 24 degree dead rise is legendary. It's a really good riding boat. Deep V in the front, deep V in the back. I mean, this thing is made for offshore fishing. Back off plane at idle, show you how smooth she was after that run, and no hunting, no stalling, nothing like that. The 225 four-stroke from Mercury rides very nicely. Let's put her back into gear, turn her around southbound. We'll put her back up on plane in the rear view so you can see the hull shot. This one comes with a beautiful condition, four-blade stainless propeller. And when you see the throttle get laid down with the four blade, the rear end of this boat comes right out of the water. With the four blade, you lose a tiny bit of top end performance, but what you get is that low end grunt and efficiency. If you want to take the family out and pull a tube or a water skier on this boat, you can do that too. Look at that instantaneous hole shot. Literally from the time we lay down the throttle, we're up above 30 miles an hour. It really comes out of the water quickly. Top end on this boat, we ran her all day in different attitudes and different positions with different loads. We saw 6,000 RPM, which is the same as the original manufacturer's specification. And if we had enough room to run her, we we're seeing right around 43 miles per hour on the top end. So those are your two performance specifications. Cruise is right at around 28 to 30 miles per hour, and that's at 4,100 RPM. Top end on this boat is 6,000 RPM and at 43 miles per hour. Turning her back around northbound, she stays hooked up very nice in the tight turns with the four blade propeller and the Sea Star hydraulic steering. We're gonna go right back into our wake without slowing down, just to show you. No spray, nothing. She handles it very well. I mean, this boat is made to eat up the chop. This particular Sailfish 236 is 100% composite, meaning there's no wood in the transom and the decks and the stringers. When you look at other vintage boats from 2000, 2005, or even older, you have to be concerned about wood rotting in the boat. Soft transoms, soft decks, soft stringers. With this boat, you'll never have to worry about those serious issues. With the 100% composite construction from Sailfish, you don't have to worry about rot in the transom, in the stringers, and in the deck. And that's important as an owner. 
Let's look at some exterior footage of the nice running attitude on the sailfish. Here we are going back northbound. Nice hole shot once again with the 225 four stroke. You really have a great blend of fuel efficiency, but you still get the performance you need. You have that 30 mile an hour cruise that everybody looks for when you're headed out offshore. But if you need to go 35, 40, even more, you have the power there if it's necessary. And when you're going through inlets and some nasty conditions, that four blade prop stays hooked up very nicely. Note the deep V and how well it cuts through those wakes as we're cruising here. This particular 236 has never been bottom painted and the bottom is in excellent like new condition. And it probably comes with one of the best color schemes, that beautiful light blue exterior with the white gel coat accents, the black rub well with the black T-top. It looks really good overall. One of the best looking color combinations you're gonna find with a center console. At Wave One Marine, we've been selling boats online for over 15 years. On eBay, we're proud to have 100% feedback for every boat that we've sold. We've sold boats all over the United States and the world, including Croatia, Thailand, Australia, and New Zealand. We make an unparalleled video tour and sea trial of each boat so you as a customer can make an informed decision. For an 03 boat, this Sailfish 236 has so many upgrades and shows pride of ownership everywhere you look. Even a beautiful Magic Trail aluminum trailer with brand new galvanized wheels and tires is coming along with this boat. If you're in the market for a serious offshore fishing boat made from a quality builder that's still producing production boats today, this is one you should look at. This boat is professionally detailed weekly, and if you look at the condition of the gel coat, take a look at the shine of the hull. Folks, this is a 2003 model year boat. It shows pride of ownership everywhere. Thanks so much for watching this video tour. If you have any additional questions, don't hesitate to contact us.